Y sí que está. Y sí que está. Right, nothing else there, uh, Tiara. That'll get you uh, tired pretty quick. You just sleep, yeah? No, you weren't. Okay. Gamer, look again. Law enforcement, look again. Snacker, look again. There's no jobs available today. Yeah. Right. Okay, you wanted some logic, didn't you? So one thing we can do here is, yeah, go here. See if we can get you to do the crossword. Uh, no. All right, no, we won't. Um, excuse me a second. I have an itchy eye, which is never fun. Howdy, people. Hello, Kenny. I was a face. How are you doing? Uh, chat with Catherine. And you, sir. You. Want to gain a skill point? You want to ask a sim on a date? And you want to be, you want to dance, I want to dance. Uh, greet Allegra. Let's see if we can uh, make friends with a doggy here. Right. I shall stand here staring vacantly into space until you arrive for it is the Sims 2 and that's the way we roll. Right, doesn't look like a werewolf, no glowing eyes. Um, give love, stroke, praise for being filthy. Ugh. Um, give love, feed treat, there we go, let's see if we can build up a relationship with the thing. Oh, perhaps not. You. Oh, it seems like we've invited it in. <laughs> Tiara has gained a body a point of body skill. Okay, right. Let's stop me doing that. Okay, can you sleep now? No. Why don't you go in? Okay, so give love, be treat, give love, stroke. Let's make some friends with this one. Preferably, oh, that bear's not going to last much longer, is it? Just look at that. Now we got the next best thing. We're going to do this at the bottom of the stairs, so you may never descend. They need to be trained, unfortunately. No, he's had, he's had enough, but he'll be back. Okay, let's have a quick look at you. Right. Grab a sandwich, get leftovers, there we go, let's top you up, hey, how, now hopefully you'll be able to sleep, yep, sleep in pajamas, and you, want you to, oh, you're not tired enough yet, are you, what about you? Vibrate. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Ah, she decided to catch some fireflies, did she?
No, okay, you, you, you still just want to relax, so why don't you... Well, then the patronize new kids, why don't you go and grab that sandwich? And... Let's see. Somebody who likes the nature skill but looks over here. Catching bugs. I've got to be honest with you, looking at that technique, she's more likely to catch half a bug, really, isn't she? Uh, okay. You seem to be interested in nature, and quite frankly, I can't seem to get you to go... Oh, I can now. Okay, sleep in pyjamas. There we go. Excellent. And you... Eat that sandwich. And tidy them up. And then off to bed with you, I think. And hopefully they will... Oh, it's actually it's nearly time to get up. So, use... Clean... Yeah, the dog could have been a werewolf. Yep, there were werewolves in The Sims too. Um... You occasionally found a dog with glowing eyes at night, and that one would turn into a werewolf. And you could, if you could persuade it to bite you. Oh, excuse me. Alright, um, have breakfast, serve breakfast. Uh, no, we don't need to do any of that. We need to do with you. It's still too early to call someone. Uh, let me play computer games for a little bit. Um, play SSX3, there we go, right. Uh, Mal Sims will. If they've got a low bladder requirement, they will just stand in pee. If they've got a high bladder requirement, they will uh, actually sit down. Uh, find a job. New newspaper. Let's see if we've got one in there. And later on... Actually, let's get you... Oh, what the hell? Dig for treasure. You never know. It might work out. I played this game a lot. I mean, I've played it to death. You know, some people have played The Sims 3. I played The Sims 2. And I love this game. Alright. How are we doing? Entertainment career? No. Ashography? No. Athletic? No. No jobs. Alright. Worth looking at. So if you let them pee off, then they won't poo. Yep. Yeah. But you've got to bear in mind, okay, that every fluid outside of the body is... What did you find? Found a bone. Oh, and you can do better than that. Dig for treasure. Um, yeah. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yes. Every, every fluid is just water. I've seen dogs pee on the sidewalk and then come back a few hours later and drink it because as far as they're concerned, it's water. Tiara's losing enthusiasm about music and dance. Never mind. What are you guys up to? Okay. Alright, so what state are you guys in? You're in pretty good shape, really, aren't you? So. Right. I, I think I want you to invite Beth over. Yeah, I think I want you to invite Beth over. So, why don't you do that? Cool. Sim. Do you go and ask your dad to be sung or swung around? Um, I swing you around. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, because there was no different sorts of liquid in this game. It was just water. 
So what did you find? A map. Oh, excellent. If we ever go to Twiki Island, we need to take that with us. Invite over. There we go. But in the meantime, let's just put it on the wall, shall we? Let's be careful about that. Good. Come on. Oh, or not. There we go, that'll have to do. <laughs> okay, and put that down just in case we get another doggy visitor. Yeah, it would be nice. Can my friend come over too? Yes. <laughs> By all means, says Tiara, the more ladies, the better. Oh, yes. Tiga, tiga. So, so. There we go. Wasn't what I was expecting them to do. I do love the way they bonded together. Oh. Right. Play, swing me around. There we go. Let's go. Okay, you. Actually, do you have a change of clothes? Never mind. Invite. Uh, greet everyone. Greet everyone. There we go. <laughs> I can never remember if, the, if that's up means that they want to. Uh, there's mail in there, or if it's down, it means there's mail in there. Uh, come on, young man. How is this treated? To it? How what way is this to treat a lady? Don't answer that. Greet everyone. There we go. And you. Yeah, answer the phone. Uh, Sean Cameron. Well, that was a good start. Okay. Now you want to be friends with Beth. Beth hurt. Okay, so play. Uh but a bit a Let's play Cops and Robbers. Well, let's hope so, Miss Fujimoto. Can we get you to join? No, it appears we can't. And that he was last seen halfway over the town at 100 metres and accelerating. I'm sure everyone knows them, but for newcomers like me, would you mind reintroducing your sims? Okay. Well, first of all, it's important to know that we are in... Where are we in? We're in... Oh, this is so loud. Oh, there we go. That's better. We are in Veronaville, with characters based upon Shakespeare's plays. And we have here... In fact... better e. right we have on the left here we have uh, Duncan McBride who is he wants to be a dancer he's absolutely fabulous just look at that beard and moustache and he started the game he was left abandoned uh, with two toddlers this is one of them this is Addy little Addy who uh, I think actually wants to be the first person to leave Orbit powered by themselves. And here, and that's such a wonderful pose. And I think actually, to be totally honest with you, another screenshot. 
this is tiara tiara is named well after a tiara and he wants to i think his ambition is to play the hunchback of notre dame and he's doing so well at it at the moment i think it's really impressive so there we go there's the family basically they've been uh, struggling through life for a little bit they've aged up to children so they're slightly more sane than they used to be <laughs> yeah. With a cry of, do you remember how much your clothes cost? He slams her repeatedly into the wall. I'm so sorry, Miss Fujimoto. I'm just very glad that you'll be able to hear it on YouTube. Right. Um, as far as I can see, I'm broadcasting perfectly fine, so I don't think there's much I can do at my end. <laughs> Yeah, they seem to be getting on like a house on fire. Alright. Duncan start the stink, and I'm really, really worried about Addy. I see nausea in her future. Okay. Alright, okay, I think we're done with that. I can't cope with the noise anymore of anything else, so alright. Uh, you still want to get a logic point and you want to eat lunch meat sandwiches. Which is annoying, I think, because get leftovers. I think you've run out of lunch meat sandwiches. Alright, um, yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, I'm just glad that here on the south coast it's only got to a mere, up to a mere 30. It's uh, would have killed me otherwise. Fill that one in, fill that one in. Let's make this place look a bit better. I'm... Okay. You know what, I've got, I'm thinking of this, I'm thinking they've got all this lovely garden and no money. It'd be nice to grow some grow some plants, but I've got a life in me. I can't remember how to do it. Uh, I should have to look that up. Is you still want Duncan to let go? Is that bad? Possibly. Are you a horrible person? You make that sound like a bad thing. Okay, so grab that. Uh, we'll eat that. There we go, it's back in his pajamas. Interesting coat you got on there, my dear. Alright. Right, what are you trying to do? Chat, that'll end badly. <laughs> Oh, they're blocking him out, are they? Okay, so, right, Tiara. When you go play with this nice young lady, play... Um, play catch, there we go. And apparently, Duncan's starting to ripen, so... I don't sleep. Take a shower. And then... Grab a plate. What a good week. Oh, good. I'm glad they've been happy. Right. Okay, so you're right. You're right. Uh, I do, oh, excuse me. Ah, oh, excuse me. I can't do any of that for you, I'm afraid. 
at yeah, I think I can do some of that for you. Let's go and invite Michelle over. Oh, Sim. There's something very, very important that one needs to remember about Romeo and Juliet. And the important thing about that is that they're 13. So uh, I'm afraid yeah, there, there's not really much chance of them uh, getting out of that in any good way or so. If Romeo or Juliet has had a bit more experience under their their, their belts, it'd be a touch less overly dramatic. Um, oh, it's the heat. I, I can't remember to be telling us. I remember that one of them was uh, 13. I thought both of them were 13, but I'm willing to bow to your uh, your greater experience on that one, to be totally honest with you. It's been quite a few years since I read it. What are you doing? You are doing that, doing that. You are playing with that, and you're doing all right. It's snowing, which doesn't bode well for educational careers. But you're not getting cold yet because you're doing plenty of exercise. You're doing all right. Okay, so. I thought she was going to get in there for a second. Right, that. Use this. I don't know what she said. Uh -huh. Doesn't seem to be a person that makes friends very easily, does it? But, well, this could be the start of a beautiful friendship. Yeah, they're getting on well, aren't they? Okay, you call cool, Michelle. You've reached Michelle's answering machine. What a surprise. Romeo was 16, Juliet was 13, nearly 14. Well, quite honestly, they're still all too young, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's snowing again. It's almost cruel to watch. 